So I've got my three DJ bags that I normally use with me here. And today, we're gonna play a game called, what's in your bag? Stick around. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into today's video, we gotta shout out my sponsor for this. It is Fabletics. Shout out to Fabletics. I am rocking this beautiful one pocket tee. And all of my looks, whenever we do these videos, are brought to you by Fabletics. And you can go to that, fabletics.com forward slash real DJ Yoshi. Link down in the description below. The genesis of this video, I've been searching forums and I've actually responded to a bunch of them. One of the questions that I always see from new DJs who are just breaking into clubs is, what do I need to bring to a club? Today, that's the purpose of this video. We're gonna go through all three of my gig bags so I can show you what I have and I'll explain why I have it. So let's go into the small one right here. Of course, it's the jet pack bag. Shout out to Stress and all them. I have update instructions for some of the most popular controllers that could be at a club from the mixer down right to the CDJ. And one of the reasons why I did that is I was traveling one time, playing a gig for the USFL, and I get down to Birmingham. I don't fly any of my gear there. Everything's provided by the USFL and Fox. I plug my laptop in, guess what? Doesn't work. We go through two hours of troubleshooting and then it clicks. There's probably a firmware update that's missing. Scour the internet find the firmware version that I need to download, download it, I update the SB3, and away we go. Just last week, I was at one of the clubs, and for some reason, the CDJ stopped working. Just, I was in HID mode, stopped working. One of the managers said, hey, one of our other DJs is experiencing the same exact thing. All right, it's gotta be a firmware issue. There were two revolutions behind on firmware, so I decided from now on, I am carrying every version update possible. From the CDJ 3000s to the 2000s Nexus, the 900 Nexus, whatever it is, a controller or a mixer, whatever it is, I'm carrying that firmware update and I now know how to install it, okay? But no internet, I have the refresher. Game scripts in here, I just, did a game recently with this. Uh, this is also my secondary bag that I bring with me uh, whenever I'm producing a game because I bring three laptops with me and I'll explain the reason why. All right. Aside from the laptop, tracker. I've seen so many people have horror stories about missing bags. That's not the only tracker that I hide in my bag. I got a few of them because I'm freaking nuts about it. Tylenol, working in events and sports, you can never have too much Tylenol. Altoids, of course, you don't want your breath being stinky. Lotion, baby. You know how many times you wash your hand or use hand sanitizer, your hands eventually get all gross and you know, you get the, the vinyl fingers back in the day. Markers, more lotion. USB charger for your phone. IEMs, I use the Shure 535s and 846s. The USB drives that we spoke about. Right angle USB adapter, just in case. Another USB drive, this is actually a blank one, so I could drop firmware down to it. And then I have another USB here, that is for a wireless mouse dongle. Now, to the real portion. Y'all know my preferred setup is vinyl with phase, vinyl with needles, uh, a Rain 4. But, in a case where you're in a club and it's not HID mode, I always bring sticks. On here, one folder has the Serato tone and then the other folder is an exact replica of my primetime club set that's in my Serato, so I could just breeze through it. You never know when you need that tone, and you can actually take that tone 
and press it to what? CDs, baby. CDs, when's the last time you saw this? When's the last time you saw these things? So as a just in case, uh, I always carry C a CD copy of the tone as well. Now, I just spoke about HID mode. So USB-C to USB-A adapter, definitely needed. Aux cord, always needed, always needed. And there's another video that you click the link up there that's gonna save you. I have two USB-C hubs right here and I spoke about HID mode. If you've never used HID mode, get into it. In a club like Lavo, that's all you're gonna use. They already have the, the USB hub set up to the mixer and the CDJs. So when you're plugging in, you're actually plugging in the hub into your laptop and it's automatically gonna be in HID mode. It's already set up for you. If you've never used HID mode, like I said, learn how to use it because it comes in handy. The CDJ actually controls Serato. Everything is MIDI mapped there. It's on an internal mode and you don't have to worry about the USB sticks reading or the actual CD drive reading. Now in HID mode, mixer is the same way, right? So you, mixer goes into here, left CDJ, right CDJ, okay? Then you're gonna select link, scroll through, link the right side, link the left side, turntable one, turntable two, turntable three, turntable four, and it corresponds to the track on your mixer. External hard drive. I used to rock everything on internal. The reason why I do external now is because I bring back up laptops. I've had instances where a laptop has crashed, a drive has gone bad, and the external hard drive helps. I use Samsung T7s and T9s as my drives. I recently came from Sony Pro. Cables always have redundancy. Always have a backup. This comes out of experience. There are times where I've seen DJs freak out. Oh my God, the mixer is not connecting. I don't know what to do. The mixer is glitching. It's gotta be my laptop. It's gotta be the mixer. No, it was most likely that person's cable because guess what, when I plugged in, perfectly fine. So I always keep USB A to C. I'm on a 2022 M1 Max, so USB-C to USB-B, I have two of those. USB-C to USB-C, that's for an extension of this hard drive. So the hard drive comes, can go right behind my computer. But if I don't have the room back there, then I have an extra long cable for that. Another USB-C to USB-B cable right here. That's for my old Sony drive. I don't know why it's still in there. It's probably just in case. Guess what? Another one. Another USB-C to USB-B cable. And for redundancy and for rocking out with HID mode, again, USB-A to USB-B. I have three of them. I'm sure there was a fourth one in here as a just in case, but it's for redundancy. And if you wanna rock on HID mode, you need those cables to connect. The next piece of this, y'all may say that I'm a little crazy when it comes to cleanliness. DJ Scene and I, shout out to the homie Scene, we both think of things the same. Do you know how many people lick their fingers and then touch the mixer? lick their fingers and then touch the turntables or touch the CDJs, touch everything that's in the booth. Even before COVID, I was doing this because that's just disgusting. I always carry not just antimicrobial wipes and antibacterial, but antibacterial hand wipes. It's softer in your hands, it's gentler on your hands, and then you just lotion up after and you're good to go. I will always wipe down all of the gear that I'm going to touch for the night when I step into the booth. A lot of people don't know about these, but these are microfiber cloths. 
never clean your screen, your cameras, your camera lenses with anything other than air, microfiber cloths, and lens cleaner solution. Never. You're gonna get that nasty film on top and it's just disgusting and it's almost impossible to get out. I didn't start using microfiber cloths and lens wipes from Zeiss until 2023. So my 2020, so my 2012 laptop, let's not talk about that screen. Uh, that bad boy's right over there. That's this bag. Now this bag will only come with me for smaller gigs. And again, like I said, it is my tertiary bag for when I'm carrying my third laptop with me. And that's what's in here. For the bigger gigs, Oh, and of course, every bag. Pioneer HD headphones. I'm not sponsored by Pioneer or anything, but these are by far the best headphones that you will ever get over the ear, in my preference. And I've gone through a bunch and I've been sponsored by a bunch of headphone companies. Bigger bag. Again, this is another Jetpack bag. One laptop goes in here. One laptop goes in here, more antibacterial wipes, screen wipes, which I don't use. I actually use those on my car, so that's why they're in here. Uh, mints again, antibacterial wipes. Every bag gets this, and I actually ran out of it in my last gig bag because I cut myself. I always have a first aid kit because how many times have you cut yourself on your vinyl, coiling things, taking things out of your bags, a screwdriver, my homie DJ Ian, my partner in uh, private events and corporate events, he is like accident prone. So he's like always cutting himself, breaking fingers, going to the ER, business cards, KT tape, Jenko needles. Jenko 44.7 needles. In this pocket is always where their hard drives go. And in this pocket, I have a three and a half to a microphone XLR cable. Sound switch, because I use sound switch. You can tell that I last used this for a private gig. My Crohn's medication, because I have Crohn's. More adapters. This is a USB-C to USB-A. And what's this? Another hub. Right angle 3.5 adapter. Clutch when it comes to sports and your stacking laptops, because that is my sports laptop over here that runs seven point audio. Eye drops. More USB drives, of course. The best part of the Jetpack bag is this right here, like the ability to come down. Again, we are all about redundancy here. More USB-C to USB-A, USB-A to B, a long USB-A to B, three and a half to three and a half. This is a right angle USB-C adapter because sometimes you're trying to be tight. Right angle, USB micro, C to micro, and of course, C to B. More oftentimes than not, if you're having an issue, a restart, or switching out your USB cables, that's all you need. Also, every bag gets two of these. Yep, I said it, two of these. Yes, it's a little redundant, but every bag has $240 worth of adapters. You just never know when one will blow. And one has blown on me. I was on tour, it was 2008, and thank God, Apple was right around the block. I was in LA, playing, tour. You just see the... Not, not a good scene. Now, 
This is from Odyssey. I love it. It's their roller that you could see I was just on a flight. Now, sometimes, I mean, it's cool and all to have your name marked on your bag, but when you're trying to be discreet and you're in the streets in New York, you don't want to be telling people, yo, man, I got a laptop in here. Yo, man, I got a camera in here. Sometimes you just want to be nice and clean. And the best part about this is, is pow. It's a roller, right? It's a luggage roller. Some of the gigs that I do in some of the stadiums that I walk into, it's by the time you, you go around from the entrance to security, you're doing about a full mile. What's in here? I use this for all of my sports stuff because it holds two laptops comfortably. And then the third laptop that runs seven point audio comes in there with me. I just used this in Indianapolis when I was DJing the Big Ten Championship game. Shout out to those who tuned in and shout out to Fox for featuring me on the TV this year. Again, another aux cable, USB-C to USB-A, micro USB. Two, two. More USB-A to B, a more USB-A to B, USB-C to C, USB-C to A, another longy, USB-C to A, C to B, C to B. More antibacterial. I also have deodorant because if I just walked a full mile, chances are I may be sweaty. And also there are some airports that are just ridiculous. I recently flew into O'Hare for the first time in like five years, and I never realized how crazy it was. I didn't have this roller. I had this with me, fully packed, and I jammed three laptops in here that day. Uh, all in all, it was about 55 pounds that I had on my back. I, I was coming down with COVID at the time, and we deplaned from Birmingham, Alabama at one side of the airport, and you have to walk this full mile underneath the tunnel up to the next terminal, and then down to the other end of the terminal to get back on United. I was sweating, I was hot, my body was sore. Parking credentials for whenever my game scripts will normally go in here. Adapter, laptop one, more game scripts. If you want to see me produce an actual game, click one of the links above and it will take you right there. Baseball, basketball, football. That was one of the original sports DJs out there. See, what's dope about this is this is actually made to have a controller. So you could bring a small controller with you, but I do it a little differently. I add another laptop, and when I'm doing vinyl sets, because when I'm on TV, I do vinyl, everything in here, some Serato butter rugs, shout out to OP Miller and Sonny James, and redundant copies of Serato vinyl, and each copy, of course, gets phase, because I use phase, and I have needles as a just in case. And there have been times where my phase has shut down on me because it's been too hot. Like when I was just DJing for MLB, phase stopped. It was 95 degrees in the air. It was 105 degrees on the field. And that's how hot it was. So that sums it up. Let me know what's inside your bag and what you may bring and what you may implement from watching this video. Again, uh, if you're looking for a nice little short carry bag, uh, I recommend the Jetpack bags. Those guys are awesome. Shout out to Stress and Alpha Music. For those that want something more discreet, the Remix Roller from Odyssey. And Odyssey also makes dope camouflage 
uh, small bags that are just not printed out with your name on it, that are just not printed out with your name. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below in the future, in the near future, I'm gonna be dropping some videos of me reviewing some of the latest tech gear from some of your favorite manufacturers. Once again, y'all, welcome in. My name's DJ Yoshi, and thank you so much for tuning into the channel. I'll see y'all in another video. Peace. Yoshi.